Green light. Good morning, everybody. My name is Gary. Uh, today is uh, Monday, so we are going to be playing harmonica for total beginners all the way up to some pretty lovely, more advanced chromatic pieces. Let me run over to the website and post the link here. While that's booting up, I will post this on Twitter. Mammoth. Mammoth. HTTPS, mammothgardens.com, HTTPS, mammothgardens.com, hit enter, and then we add in a picture of the harmonica girl. Um, we're trying to send the impression that harmonica is cool, and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess it is, sort of. And um, there, we, nose rings and tattoos. That's what we are around here, a lot of nose rings and tattoos. Um, uh, let's see what else is going on today. Today we have on our list we have um, how to play the harmonica mini lesson that I'll do. I will do here momentarily. Then we will be playing kumbaya diatonic our diatonic scales. Uh, we will be playing our all my loving today, um, which is a uh, Beatles right, and uh, it's kind of hard to play on. on of course, that's our more advanced piece. And then we're also playing As Time Goes By in Summertime, so a couple of jazz pieces. Uh, well, one's a jazz piece and one is a Broadway show tune, so uh, we'll get those knocked out as well. Let me make sure that this is posted properly. Date, update. Should have had this posted up seven minutes ago, six minutes ago. Guitar ran late here in the last class. And so I'm getting set up here late. Um, everybody who's a, a regular attendee will be used to me being a tiny bit late, so they're okay with that. Uh, let's see. Yep, opens it up correctly. All right, let's talk about how you play harmonica. Good morning, Sandy. Good after or good afternoon to you. 16 degrees and a whiteout. Oh, it's terrible up in northern Michigan. Eek, that's kind of a bummer. Um, I'm glad you're here, Sandy. <laughs> I think you should stay inside and play harmonica today. All right, let me run through very quickly our uh, harmonica slides and uh, how you play harmonica. We do this every Monday and Mondays only so that uh, if you want to get started playing harmonica, this is a great opportunity for you to do that. Let me grab the, um, where is my, oh, hold on. I think I moved the thing. Hold on, I may have a problem here. Let me delete this. I'm going to remove that, yes. And then I'm going to add in a uh, slideshow, Where, where's media, image slideshow, okay, add image slideshow, I'll have to call this harmonica day one, and everybody just come on and get settled in, and I will uh, find automatic fade, where it is, where do I put that, oh here it is, Add a directory. I think I moved the folder. I had two harmonica folders. And daily lessons, how to play slides. So, oops, go back up. How to play slides. Select that folder. And all right. So, step one: wash your hands. All right. That's. The, I'm going to put a pause on that one there, and I'm going to close this. Close this out. Oh, okay. Hold on. These are. Do you want to keep them? Save. All right. No, oh, is that what you see? You guys see that too. Beautiful. <laughs> Going to get comfy with this software eventually. Uh, number one, we want to make sure you're washing your hands uh, because you're going to be sticking them in your face, right? And so let's make sure you're always washing your hands prior to even picking up a harmonica. Number two. Um, we want you to brush your teeth. Um, the reason is, if you don't brush your teeth prior to playing, the junk that's in your teeth will end up inside of your harmonica. And then you have to clean your harmonica sooner. Um, you're going to end up learning how to clean your harmonica in any event, but we want to put that off as long as possible. I think if you brush your teeth and rinse your mouth out real well with water prior to playing, it's a long time that you have to go between uh, harmonica cleanings, especially if you're playing every day really want to have decent uh, a decent attack strategy on that 
Next, uh, uh, hydrate while you're playing. I keep a bottle of water next to me when I'm playing. Um, this is your opportunity to go to the uh, athletic store and get a really cool water bottle and uh, feel like you're kind of a jock. Uh, we want to make sure you're drinking lots and lots of water when you play. It'll make your lips moist and the whole deal. That's all very important. Next thing, most important thing I have learned out of reading now many harmonica books is you really don't want to be sitting like this cat. You really want to have good posture. You want to be sitting up tall and pretty. Um, the, uh, you want your lungs fully opened up. We're going to be breathing out in our, from our belly and in from our belly uh, in order to uh, have the air go all the way to the top of your lungs and all the way to the bottom of your lungs. We don't want to breathe from your lungs. We don't want to breathe from your neck. Uh, we really want to be breathing from your belly. And the easiest way to do that is by making sure you have great posture all the time when playing. And then, of course, the next slide says breathe from your belly. Um, and so not from your lungs, not from your neck, um, but really down deep so that you're really pulling in quality air into your system and also then pushing it out through the same thing. I want you to think about the blows and draws more as inhales and exhales and be gentle about it. Um, when you're pushing air, um, either you're playing a really complicated, high-level, loud piece or you're doing it wrong, right? And so mostly on the in the um, these songs that we have, simply inhaling and exhaling, breathing as if it's the river of life. That's what you want to be doing. Next slide, um, two different versions of puckering up. Um, there are two styles, generally two styles of blank, making noise out of your harmonica. One is puckering up and making sure your air goes through a single hole. The other one is using tongue blocking, which is a more advanced technique where you'll blow, you'll cover several holes with your mouth, but then block the ones you don't want to use with your tongue. That's not something that I teach. Uh, here in these classes because one I'm not very good at doing it and um, uh, long term if you fall in love with harmonica the uh, tongue blocking will be something you want to do but for now puckering up and getting air to go through a single hole is is plenty hard enough and you'll have to learn how to do that anyway so uh, use your kissing muscles uh, inside of your mouth to adjust the overall direction the air is flowing um, and you will sometimes drop your tongue sometimes raise your tongue sometimes squish in your the inner muscles of your cheeks. Um, you'll use all of those muscles to help direct airflow properly. Finally, in between, not finally, we're almost to the end, uh, in between each note you want your tongue to top the roof of your mouth. So you're going to say two, two, two. Same thing with draws. You're going to be having those do that. Don't have your tongue come out of your nose uh, and wipe your nose with it. It's weird. Um, but use a two between each note, um, at least to start off with. How you hold your harmonica, your knuckle is going to go right over hole number four, and uh, your other hand is in the back using a wah, so you can make a wah-wah sound with it, and we want that going on. And then uh, remember, when you're playing, don't move your mouth and your head back and forth. Move your hands back and forth so that your mouth basically stays going forward all of the time. Uh, fi almost finally, on your sheet music, if it says four, that's a blow into hole number four. If it says minus four, that's a draw or an inhale through hole number four. Uh, if it has a star on it, that's for chromatic players. Um, that means you push the button in um, and blow hole four or um, have the button in and draw hole four. Um, you won't run into the stars on the diatonic music. Uh, and then finally, this is the last shape, uh, all of your sheet music, and, and I told Melissa I'd make a handout for this. I haven't got it done yet. Um, I started it yesterday and then got distracted. Um, ensemble sheet music, uh, all of your music is set up the same way. Um, you have chords on there. That's for piano players, guitar players, ukulele players. They know what to do with those. Those are not really for us. Uh, standard notation, that might be for you. If you want to learn to play harmonica from standard notation, I give that to you. It's very helpful for you to know how long to hold a note. Um, next on that is the lyrics. In, at the bottom of the lyrics line, I always give you the harmonica tablature. So for those of you that are harmonica players, you're like, oh, I like standard notation or I like tablature. You get both here. And uh, um, the idea is ultimately you are going to be able to play it either way. Um, when you go around the Internet, the harmonica tablature is pretty readily available. The problem with it is you can't tell how long to hold the notes. And then the ones that give you standard notation is a bit of a problem because if 
if you have more than one type of harmonica, you have to learn which holes to blow on each of those harmonicas, and tablature eliminates that, so you can play right away with whatever harmonica you have in your hand. And then finally, the ukulele tablature and the guitar tablature. That's for doing duets. Hopefully at some point you're playing with somebody else, and um, that's, that's what that is. All right, let me put me back on and get rid of this. And there I am, click. Um, and that's our little presentation every Monday. Um, hopefully that gives you some insight as to if, if you know of somebody who wants to teach harmonica, uh, that's uh, those slides are on the front page of the website. Um, and you can, uh, or on our daily schedule there at the bottom, so you can use those to help teach other people how to play. Um, today, first thing we want to do is go ahead and grab, uh, let me get my list up here. Today we're going to start with um, Kumbaya, which is sort of a standard tune to start with for everybody and um, you know, that plays harmonica. It's a really fun song to play and I'm busy finding my list here, harmonica, and uh, we play every Monday through Friday we've been playing the exact same songs uh, on certain, you know, Kumbaya, we play it every single Monday and so on. Um, and hopefully you're getting pretty good at it. Um, and those of you guys that are getting pretty good at it, hopefully you're thinking, you know what, I'm going to start sharing this with some other people. And you're welcome to all, to use all of this stuff from the website. Don't need to remake anything. That was, was super helpful, I hope. Um, let's see, Melissa made it in. Good morning, Melissa. She's in from Boulder. Happy. Oh, it is March already. Oh, my gosh. Marsha made it in. She's from Denver. Patty's here from Denver. Evelyn's in from Cuenca, 66 degrees and ready to start raining down there. Can you imagine? I, I live in Colorado. Um, we might get a little bit of rain <laughs> for five minutes once in a while. Valerie's in from uh, Illinois. Happy Monday to you. Made it in from the sunny uh, spring like Chicago. Really, that's fascinating. Pauline is here from Northern California. Don's in from Northern Colorado. And Kat is in late as always. No, not always. Sometimes Kat's the first one in. <laughs> uh, and so let's play Kumbaya together two times through it's set up to play three times we'll play it two times through uh two beat count in and we're going to blow four remember if you're newer getting in people to pucker up or if you're teaching it the business of puckering up is important you don't want to play through multiple holes it sounds cool but you don't want to do that you want to play through just hole four and that's that's involves puckering up and then using the inner muscles in your mouth to make that happen let's see how we do one Two. Um, I know since the, since August when we started these broadcasts, uh, my quality of sound has gone way up, and I attribute that largely to breathing from from the belly. And so, 
Um, that and just having more experience, a little bit more control over my inner mouth muscles to just really, you know, be focused in on trying to get the most out of each read as I'm making them um, do their thing. And uh, so um, hopefully you guys are as well finding as the longer you do this, a little bit more control over the individual notes. It sounds starts to sound a little better, a little more pleasing to the ear overall. Let's go grab our scales. Let's play a C major scale today. Uh, and then the A minor. Let's see. Diane made it in. Hey, Diane. Christine, 34 degrees and sunny up there in Bozeman. Uh, supposed to get 40s this week and 50s. On the yeah, I know. Out here in the West, we have a crazy beautiful weekend coming, <laughs> which is... Uh, what is it? It's the beginning of March. I don't think it's supposed to be spring yet, but uh, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, let's see. Marcia said, played Tom Dooley and, Mar and Marilee on Sunday with my son-in-law's eight-year-old daughter. Nice. Okay, we're getting an eight-year-old involved. <laughs> uh, I do think kids like to play these things, I, and I think um, you know we 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 when with little kids, obviously we give them wide version wide breadth to to screw it up too, right? <laughs> um, but we get a chance to play with little kids too, which is kind of fun. All right. Um, and, of course, even with my grown adults in, in class when we get together, um, this business of getting a single note through a single hole, it turns out to be way harder in the beginning than you wish it would be. So you let them get it close and you move on, right? They, they, they get better. C major scale from the top two times through. One, two, three, four. scale ready play eights and nines are being a little fussy today uh, all part of the fun all right let's go grab um all my loving today all my loving more advanced um piece of music here for diatonic but this one of all of the more advanced pieces this one's actually fairly approachable right and we haven't played it in a little while um, but you really five sixes and sevens um i don't think it goes much i don't know if it goes above that at all does it um, it's just long. That's that's the one of these things where it's a little bit of a, a um, endurance test. Um, so you're going to play all the way down through 16. Then you're going to come back and play the top again, 1 through 14. Then you're going to jump. Um, you're not going to play 15 and 16 twice. You're just going to play it once. Then you're going to jump to 17 uh, through 26. Okay. Then tw at the end of 26, that's going to throw you all the way back up to the top one more time. You play 1 through 14 again. And then at the end of 14, okay, you're going to again jump over to 17, play all the way down. But this time, stop at 24, jump to 27, and play the end. I would, if for sure, if I had my sheet music in front of me, um, I would be busy writing a little notes to myself. Two number one, two number 14, two number 17, or whatever those things are. Um, uh, at major 24, it's uh, uh, two number 
27 second time right so um, I for sure would have those things written down on there um, because one of the things about mo modern music is the repeats when we can take advantage of them we do uh, so that we don't end up with five six pages uh, the problem with that is is that you got to get pretty good at reading repeats um, older songs they tend to have much more easy to get along with repeats uh, than modern songs do <laughs> so uh, it is what it is um, all right, let's give it a try. Let's see. Oh, a couple thoughts here. Uh, six weeks to go till we get leaves. I know. Can you imagine? It's almost more, where it, winter is wrapping up, guys. Uh, oh, <laughs> Sandy up in northern Michigan. She's like, oh, please, girl. If you don't know. <laughs> uh, maple syrup many time. Oh, is that maple syrup? Oh my gosh, how exciting. I forgot about that. That's that's probably I have only had real maple syrup one time. <laughs> Everything else has been Mrs. Buttersworth. Alright. Two beat count in. Lots of times through. Blow uh, draw five to get started. One, two. Ready and play. That ending, right? Real high, and it sounds exactly like the Beatles more or less would have done it. Um, I will then do you, blum, 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 blum. And uh, so um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fun piece of music there. Lively, right? The kind of the faster we play it, the better. Um, and um, try to get it close to what the Beatles tempo was. So very fun piece of music. All right, guys, let's go grab. Uh, that. That's it for diatonic today. Um, if you are diatonic only, you may sashay on out of here. Um, chromatic people, a couple of things. Number one, 
Um, I updated, uh, Marsha and I were having a conversation uh, about, um, you know, she, she's been writing some, writing out some tabs on her own, and um, we had a conversation about, um, hey, sometimes, it, uh, some sheets say I should blow into four when I have a C, and some sheets say I should blow into five, and the answer is yes. <laughs> sometimes you blow into four, sometimes you blow into five. Very song-specific, very moment-specific, um, and uh, so um, I, as I was working through that with her this weekend, um, I realized that our chromatic notes in C, our big p uh, sheet of paper with all of the notes on it, um, there were some a couple of notes that were rather confusing on there. So I updated it um, with a few, uh, just sort of cleaned it up a little bit. There's just a couple. Play it was all correct, but uh, it required a little bit of a little bit more music knowledge than I would generally expect you to just have in your noggin. Uh, and so I made some minor changes to it in terms of how the notation looks. Um, and for those of you who know what I'm talking about, I took out the courtesy naturals. Um, and uh, so that if it's a flat, it says if it's flat. If it's a natural, it doesn't say anything. And if it's a sharp, it says it's sharp. And so if there's no sharp or flat on something, it's a natural. And so that I think that's easier to read, especially if you don't have a ton of music background. Um, and so you should not overly take into note, as many of you know, when you are inside of a measure and if something becomes flat that note stays flat throughout um, but that's not how this piece of music or how this this worksheet is to be used so you might want to replace your notes in the on the chromatic harmonic uh, sheet and that is on the bottom of the front uh, or on, on the bottom of our schedule page right before the business of uh, you know brush your teeth and all that stuff so under theory and standard notation at the bottom of our daily work page um, I wrote it in big red letters, updated, resource, chromatic notes in C. And that is the sheet you want to be using when you are deciding, hey, it's time to tab out a song. When I'm tabbing out a song for you guys, that is absolutely, that page is usually sitting up in a separate window on my computer. Um, uh, just so I can double check, I usually get kind of get into the groove and then I know what I'm doing. But you might want to... Um, you might want to go through and um, replace that page in your notebook, especially for those of you guys that are either one, working on reading standard notation, or two, um, tabbing out uh, songs that you want to play. Um, and I, you know, well, obviously we encourage that because um, there's going to be songs you want to do that I may or may not have time to get to. And heck, if you just have the ability to do it yourself, then then that's that. So that's your notes in notes um, page, chromatic notes in C. What we're pulling up right now is your chromatic scales. Make sure you know those are two separate pages uh, designed for two different uses. And so the scales, when we're playing scales, we want to have the least amount of motion possible. And so you know, on this scale, for example, when you get to the C um, uh, in measure one on your chromatic harmonica scales, you'll see that C we blow into four. The reason we blow into four is because the previous note was a draw from four, so we just stay in the same hole. Um, and then the next note is a draw on five, and then we don't blow into hole five at all, um, and we move on to six. Um, there are plenty of situations where you would rather blow into five rather than four. It's the same note. <laughs> the same exact note uh, but depending on what note comes before it and what note comes after it uh, plays a large role in which one makes the most sense to blow into so I hope that what I'm talking about makes at least some partial sense to you <laughs> and that um, 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 we're talking about a rather higher level skill which is arranging for the harmonica when you have choices you have to think about what's going to cause the least amount of work and then um, if you don't arrange for harmonica and you don't intend to ever tab out a, a song you don't need to worry about it just blow into whatever it says to do but but you guys will probably get where you're like you know what I used to love 
Prince, and I want to play a Prince song, and you will go and get a, a book of sheet music from Prince, and it'll just have the standard lyric line, and you'll go through and write in all of your harmonica tablature, and um, you'll find out why Gary doesn't do ta do Prince. It's very uh, he's not a great vocal, not great at melodies, <laughs> very great at orchestration, very great at being cool, not so great at writing melodies, and that's why we don't really do uh, that type of music on here. Um, I would way rather do something from 18. 37 that has a great melody but uh, you know how i am i'm old-fashioned um all right um chromatic harmonica scales what do we say this week we do one each week so let's do the c major two times through don't do don't go on to c sharp don't go on to d don't go on to e flat let's just do the c major twice um i will mark this as monday tuesday Wednesday and Thursday. So we'll do one scale each week, but we'll do it two times through. Chromatic harmonica, C major scale. Be thinking about um, how little motion we are is in this. Um, and uh, be, again, be starting to think about associating with certain activities, certain sound qualities. And I think that will help you read the standard notation as well. From the top, one, two, three, four. <laughs> This one is not without controversy, and I had to think about it a while before I decided to stick with what I went to it. But you will notice as you're going up, everything makes sense. When you're coming back down um, and you get to the draw five, that D note on the way down, you've got to draw five. The smart play is to just blow five because you're already in that hole. But I went ahead and rearranged and arranged it as a blow four because we had done the same thing going up and then I had a mirror going back down so I had your notes going up be the same as going back down but probably if you're a professional harmonica player and you're drawing on five you're not going to slide down and blow four you're going to blow five and then slide down do your draw four and then slide down again to do your draw three um, that's going to be the least amount of motion um, but that is a controversial decision there to put a four in there um, instead of a five either of those would have been acceptable decisions um, and when arranging that particular scale um, all right let's and then of course that's up for debate <laughs> all right let's go play as time goes by this is one of my favorite songs I love this tune um, as time goes by where is it why is it not there dun, 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 dun. huh I don't have it in my book. Hold on. Uh, let me go grab it. As you guys know, I am fighting this little gadget to no end. And sometimes it seems like it just eats songs on me. I don't know if that is me being confusing. Download harmonica PDF. I don't have it here. It's not in here. Why is it not in here? We've done this before. Maybe I updated something and forgot to update it here. Mammoth Gardens. Harmonica. Songs. As, as time goes by. Sitting right there. Sitting on, the, uh, sitting on the server. As time goes by. Not in my book. Don't know why. As time goes by. Chromatic. 
Okay, double check that we're going into the right folder. We are. And then I hit download. Okay. System is running like molasses, of course. Alright, that gets us loaded and done. Let's get out of here. Back in storage. Uh, harmonica. As time goes by. You can see it looks like it was there all along, but it wasn't. Alright, so let me make sure you and I are working from the same paper. Mine says January 26th, yours says January 26th. All right, we're all set. All right, uh, we play down through measure eight, come back to the top, play through six, and then nine to the end. Okay, um, you're picturing yourself in Casablanca. You have a floppy hat on. You're you're hanging out, <laughs> looking fantastic, and uh, there was a war going on, and so it, everything is complicated. All right, let's here we go. From the top, chromatic in C, three beat, three and a half beat counting, and then draw four. One, two, three. start from the top I apologize I got off <laughs> I started thinking about the wrong thing one two three that one up pretty good let's play it one more time uh, so that I can prove I know how to play harmonica uh, Don says is there an inexpensive and easy to use software for just writing harmonica tab with melody notation and perhaps lyrics uh, Don the nothing that I'm aware of will kick out uh, harmonica tabs I do that by typing it into the lyric line but the right now 
Um, well, to be perfectly honest, I use professional level software and it's very expensive and I don't recommend it um, for what we're doing here, certainly. Uh, if you're thinking about publishing a book, yeah, you have to get that. But if you're just working on stuff for your own, the best one out there is called Muse Score. M U S E S C O R E. Muse Score. It's free. Uh, it, um, as with all notation software, there's a pretty heavy duty uplift in order to get uh, where you're able to use it. Um, but in my mind, there's it's a no brainer right at the moment. Muse Score is far and away the best, cheap. Well, it's free, right? Um, it is a crowdsourced software, so it gets better all the time as people are cleaning it up and writing things and doing new things with it. Um, it's a long way from professional level software, but it's really, really pretty handy if you want to say, hey, I want to go grab have a song I like, type in the melody, type in some chords, type in the lyrics, type in a, a line with the harmonica tab on there. Yeah, Muse Score is free and it's pretty good. I've used it just enough to know that I'm not about to switch from professional level to it. But for people getting started, yeah, absolutely. Wonderful piece of software. So um, so give it some thought. Muse Score. And I think it's at musescore.com if I remember right. You download it. Just Google Muse Score and it'll come up. All right, one more time on As Time Goes By. I messed that up pretty good. Let's do it one more time from the top. One, two, three. a little better play it again on friday and uh let's go grab summertime real quick let's go grab summertime dun, 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 dun. summertime got moved over. i think we ran out of time on friday is that why it's here again <laughs> let's go grab summertime i think last week we rewrote this three or four times before we got it right and um so well let's let's knock it out all right um, and Francis was saying, hey, when you see those sixes, it measures uh, three 
and uh, 11, um, you might change those sixes out for a two. And instead of having it go up, have it go down. Sounds kind of cool that way as well. I'll probably play it uh, one way one the first time and the other way the other time. Down through measure 32, back again the second time. Actually, we don't have time to play it twice. First shot, best shot. From the top to the bottom, Don't ignore, ignore all the repeats. Uh, and you can play it diatonic or chromatic. Here we go. One, two, three. try one thing I think I think <laughs> I think I'm much less likely to blow it if I actually do use a two at measure 11 I think um, the six in measure five works really or I'm sorry the six in measure three works really well I think I might change measure 11 to be a two instead of a six and then I think the same thing happens at measure 27 so let me try that real quick uh, from measure 24, one, two, three. Uh, where's my six? One, two, three. <laughs> So I think what I'll do, I'm going to change um, measure 27, last note from a 6 to a 2, measure 11, last note from a 6 to a 2. What we're doing is dropping that note an octave, which then makes entering into the following note much easier. We're not changing the melody, we're just changing the octave with which we sing the melody at. I mean, it, technically we're changing the melody, <laughs> but we're not changing the note that we're playing, just dropping it an octave, which happens all the time when I'm doing arrangements. That's a very normal thing to do, because um, your ears will hear it. Your ears will be like, oh, they went down instead of up. Um, but that makes the entry into the bridge there at 13 and then again at um, 28 much easier much more convenient much more likely to hit it correctly and people who are listening their ears will be like oh yeah that's how they did it that's that's perfectly fine <laughs> so uh, and then i'm going to put a little wah 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 on the end of it it's from minus three to a four to a minus three on uh, at measure 33 just to give you a little bit of a wah bum bum so i'll make we'll get another revision to summertime i don't know if i'll get it done this week or not but i will try and um yeah, Muse score. Yep, that's the one, Don. That's the one. 
And uh, so all, there we go. We had a lovely day. Lots of harmonica. Um, each day this week, I've added in a second chromatic song on there. Um, I am starting to have get caught up on some of the other stuff I was way behind on. And so um, my plan is to take all of the songs I have arranged, which are in now mounting into the nearly thousands, <laughs> and start to really stick in some uh, uh, much more chromatic work for you guys. And uh, um, and it turns out every now and then I run into a, a diatonic song, and you're like, oh, I should have should have already written this for the harmonica people. So we'll keep moving forward with all of that. Uh, Sandy says summertime is summertime not on link. The link is not working on the summertime. Uh, ha, 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 ha. It did not work. Yeah, what, where's it going to? Summertime. Oh, because it's chromatic. Let me fix that part I can fix. Sorry, Sandy. I apologize. Um, actually, why don't you wait just a bit? Because um, um, I'm going to clean that up today. So don't worry about downloading it today. Sorry, the, the link. I messed up the link on that. Um, Francis, I don't think Humphrey Bogart got lucky there. The way they were playing. <laughs> Ilsa walked in the parlay. She heard that song. She's like, I'm going down the bar. I'm going down the street. <laughs> this bar sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I played it iffy for sure. Uh, we'll play it better on Friday. Well, hopefully she'll come by again on Friday. I mean, we, we, we were running a... a uh, just imagine if you go into a blues club and they always have a harmonica player and they're playing the same basic thing. I had to go into Guitar Center for a, a, a very, like a five minute thing on uh, Sunday. Um, and our Guitar Center is a mess. Uh, all Guitar Centers are a mess. But I walked in, it was really horrible in there. I didn't end up buying anything. Um, but I went in there to check on something. Uh, and uh, uh, what do I find? There's some guy on electric guitar, got the thing all the way turned up, playing a blues riff, and you're just like, I don't know how that can continue to be fun year after year, but it is, apparently. Uh, Don, can you advise on software to put all of your music on your tablet? So I, my system right now, I don't recommend it all. Um, so all I'm doing right now is downloading PDFs onto a tablet and keeping them in a folder. That's all I'm doing. I am told that there is a program out there for conductors called Four Score, F O R S C O R E, Four Score. Um, I'm told it's for conductors, and I'm told it's very good. So you might want to look into Four Score as a um, sheet music management software. I think you have to pay for it, Don. So double check if it's going to meet your needs. Uh, but that's. When I get a better tablet, which was coming soon, <laughs> um, I will be probably looking into four score as my score manager, probably. Um, Francis says, okay, maybe H got lucky the second time around. <laughs> uh, Humphrey Bogart was fine, right? He was fine. He was managing to get himself taken care of uh, one way or another. Warren, hey Gary, hey Gary, all uh, welcome in, Warren. We're just wrapping up. Um, you guys have a wonderful day. I gotta get off to ukulele, and um, I will fix that link uh, for summertime. I apologize. Let me. Go. In fact, I just pulled up, and so I can fix it here real quick. And um, whoops. Um, I will see all of you guys tomorrow. I am gonna make um, an adjustment to summertime. I think Francis had a pretty good idea with it was dropping it instead of raising it. And so we'll do it, not do it on every moment, uh, but we will do it on a couple of them. So let's see if this now works. Open link and new tab. All right, Sandy, the link is now, is now fixed. Um, and I'll have to go fix the bottom one too, probably. I think it's probably down here as well. Um, so the upper link is fixed. I'll fix the lower link, and then uh, you can at least get the tab. Um, and then I will. I'm going to update that sheet music here um, today. It won't take but a jiffy. Um, with uh, following some of Francis's suggestions, <laughs> we can't follow everything she says. Or we'll, uh, um, you know, she'll start to think she's in charge. All right. <laughs> uh, there, that's fixed. Let me make sure it works. Yeah, switching it from diatonic to chromatic messed me up. All right, so both of them, both of the links are now set up properly to get you summertime. And all I'll do is I'll replace that file later today with one with some twos rather than some sixes on it. And then a little fancier ending, and I think, I think it'll play nice. 
All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Good to see all of you, and I will see um, some of you in ukulele. I'll see the rest of you tomorrow, and uh, have a wonderful day out there. I think the only one who reported terrible weather was Sandy. Um, every, all the rest of you sound like you got a decent day going. <laughs> no, take care of yourself. Pia score lets you notate music. It's free for iPad. Okay, so Vic has a, a Pia score. Um, all right, good. That's good to know. Uh, Warren, see you in you. Yep, Pauline, you bet. And Melissa, good to see you. Don, you're welcome. Andy, it was a good workout. Yeah, good, good. Yay! All right, guys, have a lovely day. I will talk to all of you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Pull in the plug. <laughs>